prepared to make a deal on Sergei Morfield's knee. Now, I'm going to send my best man down there. Bates. Earl Bates. Well, if that's you, we just going to have to move a little faster in the competition. Why don't you try moving faster on this stuff? It's safe to say. Uh, look, things get a little busy around here. Uh, I, I'm going to have to call you back, but I want you to get working on those papers because I'll get back to you real soon. Yeah, sure. What are you bothering me with this Sign nickel papers. and dime stuff for? Sign papers so I can get back to work, all right? Josh, you know who I was talking to there? The lawyer for Sun King. What's the big deal? Hey, look, I'm going to have a hard time competing with Spalding Enterprises with a Sun King deal with only LTA behind it. LTA can hold its own just fine. I just signed a paper. Well, I want more, little brother. And if you get off your high horse, we can have it, too. How? If we merge with HB, we should run those off. It's a real nice uniform. Like my uniform? I love it, actually. It's a nurse's uniform. Yeah, I wish I had one. I know she's uniform, I mean. She have a lab coat, Katie. What's wrong with that? Everything. Are you saying you're no longer fascinated with Dr. Stevens' research? I'm saying I am no longer fascinated by Dr. Stevens. I think I made a big mistake. Cody, you want to sit down? No, no, thanks. I'm okay. How you been feeling? Uh, the head injury giving you any problems? No, no, I'm doing, I'm doing great, as a matter of fact, yeah. You look a little nervous. Well, I'm uh, kind of worried about Maureen. Why? Why would you be worried about her? She's uh, been kind of tense lately. I mean, I think she's still upset about the miscarriage, you know? Well, Tony, I'm sure that you didn't make an appointment to see me just to talk about Maureen, so... I don't worry about it, you know? I mean, she had her heart set on that lady. She what? I mean, you know how much that lady meant to her. I mean, let... Tony? Tony, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. It's gonna be all right. I'm scared. There's something wrong in my head. I'm really scared. is presented by Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. And by Ivory. There's a pure, natural kind of clean when you lather up with Ivory. My wife Susie works with some of the most beautiful women in the world. But to me, there's no one more beautiful than she is. Especially her skin. That's why I wrote Ivory about her. I do get compliments on my skin, even for my models. So when one of them asks me what I use, I tell them Ivory. I call Ivory my one fell swoop beauty treatment because Ivory gives me exactly what I want. It cleans gently, naturally, without leaving additives on you, like a lot of beauty products. Good food and exercise are important too, but when it comes to beautiful skin, Ivory is a basic. Healthy looking skin. Ivory can help you have it too. And now, basic natural Ivory soap also comes in a new liquid. Try it. Making Duncan and Ice banana nut muffins. They're new. Where is the banana and then nut? Right in the mix. Because something extra good in the mix means extra good taste in the muffins. Bananas and walnuts are now in an extra good.
good, extra moist Duncan Hines muffin. Mmm. Does it taste extra good? Do I get a kiss? When? When I finish my muffin. Don't forget the good in the Duncan Hines mix. Hey, neighbor. Hi, Marshall. How's the body business? Yeah, in great shape, Rosie. Is that roll of bounty I owe you? Forget it. I don't use bounty anymore. You what? I found a cow with more muscle. I can relate to that. New bounty? New bounty. Tough enough to scrub with. That's true, Arnie. Tough enough to scrub with. The cleanser? Sure. Look, you use new bounty made tougher. I'll use bounty made the ordinary way. Okay. Let's see how tough it is. Can you see what's happening in the mine? Yeah. But look at new bounty. It's really holding together. Even after all that scrubbing. That's one tough cow, eh, Muscle? And it's still the quicker pickle up with. New bounty. Now, tougher than ever. <laughs> huh. I, uh, I just feel like my head's playing tricks on me, man. It's like you want to say the word baby, but you keep saying the word lady instead. Yeah, ex exactly. I mean, that's been happening a lot lately. We get my words all mixed up. And, uh, <laughs> I don't think anything could really be wrong, because I feel fine now, you know? What else has been happening? Tell me. Nothing big, you know. I, I get dizzy sometimes. It makes me see double. I like your breathing. Had any trouble with that? No. I get tired a little quicker than I used to. The coordination, has this affected that in any way? Still can't dance. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, the dancing aside, how about the other thing? Do you drop things more now, stuff like that? Yeah. I, I've been real clumsy behind the bar. How come you didn't tell me about the symptoms when they first started? I didn't think they were any big deal. I mean, I'd been dizzy before. Yeah, besides, I mean, Kelly was my doctor, and he left town. So I just, you know, I thought I'd wake you. What are you doing? I'm going to arrange for a CAT scan. Wait a minute. There's no reason to make any big deal about this, eh? Tony, a CAT scan is not a big deal. It's a logical diagnostic step, given the circumstances. Wait a minute. They took x-rays and did a whole bunch of tests when I was in here before. They didn't find this anything. This is different. Now, the symptoms that you are telling me now could be caused by an injury that simply wouldn't show up on an x-ray. I'm not going back in the hospital. You may not have to. Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Sackett, please. Well, and I don't want any strangers involved. That's why I came to you. Tony, please don't tell me that you're thinking about keeping this some kind of a secret. Of course I am. There's no reason Mom and Annabelle should know about this. Well, except for the reason that sooner or later they're going to figure out for themselves that something is wrong. If and when that happens, I'll deal with it then. But until then, yes. we don't... Yeah. Uh, hi, Bob. Uh, Ed Bauer. Uh, what I would like is uh, an immediate CAT scan for a patient of mine. Mm-hmm. Brother-in-law. Tony Reardon. Well, uh, it's an injury to the head, so I think that we should do a full series with contrast. And due to the nature of the injury, I think we should do coronals as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, 9.30's fine. Oh, and uh, listen, I'll, I'll send this full medical, medical report down, okay? Yeah, thank you, Bob. Right, bye-bye. Okay, they can see you in 20 minutes. Well, what's the big hurry? I mean, I, I feel fine. It can't be that serious. Tony, maybe it isn't serious, but we just want to make sure. Now, please, don't make trouble on these. The tests are important. If you delay taking them, it could be very dangerous. Okay. I'll take them on one condition. You don't tell anyone in the family about this, and that includes Maureen. Oh, Tony. I don't like keeping secrets from Maureen. I know, but everybody's got to keep secrets every sometime, you know? I mean, am I right? And besides...
Besides, the secret you're going to be keeping is about, about medical stuff. That's privileged information. Oh, Tony, what are you saying? I'm saying that we're going to do this my way. We're not going to do it at all. That either you promise me you're not going to tell anybody, or I'm going to walk out of here and you can go down and take the cat stain yourself. And you'd do it, too. Yes, I would. All right. I'll keep your secret. But it's not going to be easy. Secrets never lost. Why are you turning in your lab coat? I told you. I don't think Dr. Stevens is the man that I thought he was. Uh, join the club. So who were you kissing when you walked in the lab? No one. I haven't been to work yet. Oh, uh, well, I thought he was up to his old tricks. You know the way I operate. Right. But there's a reason I don't want to work for him anymore. Because of the lousy way he treated you. You're quitting your job because of me. Well, you have to admit he did treat you pretty lousy, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he okay, did. Okay, then. That settles it. No, that doesn't settle it, Katie. Dr. Stevens is not your problem. He's my problem. Don't let my love life get in the way of your career. Hillary, this decision is going to be very good for my career. I'm a nurse. Why should I work for some self-centered creep like Dr. Stevens when there's not only a lot of people here at Stevens that need my help, they can appreciate it. Mm, that's true, I suppose. Besides, there's something a lot more important than a good-looking doctor. What has ever been more important to you than a good-looking doctor? Our friendship. Besides, good-looking doctors are a dime a dozen, right? So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go turn in my lab coat. Oh, yes, Doctor. I'll have it waiting for you. Sure. Thanks. Hillary, could you get um, Mrs. Beck's chart for me? Sure. Thanks. Really? Oh, Mrs. Brown, hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, yes. The Rape Crisis Center is holding a seminar on professional counseling, and I'd like the hip nurse from each floor to attend. Oh, well, um... First of all, I've had a lot of training in that area, and she usually handles the problems that, that, that involve with psychiatrics, so... I don't know, it's worked out very well that way. Well, I'm sure it has. But it's a matter of professional responsibility. That's why I want all the nurses, uh, the head nurses, to attend. Mm -hmm. uh, the seminar starts in 20 minutes, and uh, it'll last for a couple of hours. In a couple of hours? I, I'm sorry, Mr. Klein, I really can't do that. I, I just have one nurse to help me today. I'm short handed. Oh, that's all right. I'll be happy to uh, cover until you get back. It's in the auditorium, so why don't you leave now? Then you'll be able to look over the materials they'll be distributing. All right, I'll get my information. See you later. Please, I'm Reverend Regulator. I swear, we swear that you got to stop. You can't do this every day. Why? Because I'm making you late for work? No, because you're going to spoil me forever. You better be careful. I really make you late for work. That's all right. I'm the boss. I can set my own hours. In that case, you wouldn't mind waiting a few minutes while I change? I'd love a ride to see you. Wait, 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 wait. You know, Leslie Ann, I really think it would be better for you if you start developing new friendships. And I mean people not connected with the hospital. I'm not going by Cedars to visit with anyone. Well, then why are you going? Because my psychiatrist said I'm well enough to take care of other people now that I'm well enough to take care of myself. That's all. So, I want to go by and see Dr. Bauer and ask if I can come back to work. No. Absolutely, positively no. There will be no merger, Billy. I already told you that once. I guess I'm going to have to keep on telling you that until you get it through your thick skull. LTA is going to remain an independent company. I don't care what you have to say about it, all right? You are the one with the thick skull. Listen, we can get Lewis Oil for a song. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, for a swan song, right? It's not going to be the end of the company. I'm trying to save the company. I just want to give it a little muscle. You want to give it to HB. You are paranoid, little brother. Cautious, Billy. I am not paranoid. I'm cautious. That's all. I know that old man. He's not going to settle for a slice when he can have the whole pie. What difference does it make? We all eat at the same table. You are never going to understand why I feel the way I do about HB. You know why? Because you guys are exactly alike. And I'm proud of it. Hey, come on. The old man is not trying to do a thing. He is a businessman first, Billy. Maybe you should try to remember that. So you're telling me that you can tell to run a small business. Hey, it sure beats dealing with outside interests. Well, it doesn't to me. Look, I got big dreams. If your dreams are just this, inside these 
to your four walls, maybe you got yourself the wrong partner. I didn't want a partner in the first place. If you want out of LTA, you just say the word. It's fine with me, oh, all right? Yeah, sure, you'd love that. Yeah, wait. that'd be great, Billy. I really don't care. Time out. I think you guys have just proved my point. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Ross Marlin. I am more convinced than ever that he can help LTA. Look, Trish, uh, Billy and I... Now, come on, just hear me out, okay? Now, I asked you guys to consider Ross as full-time legal counsel for LTA, right? Well, after listening to you guys go at it for this billionth time, I'm convinced we need to hear this earlier argument. That was supposed to be a joke. Thought it helped. Okay. I am serious about asking Ross to work here. I'd like to be in a position to offer him a job when he comes back from Washington. Now, what do you think? I think that you'd better try and talk some sense into your older brother here. We're not going to have a company to do that. Ro we're all going to be on the street looking for jobs just like Ross is. What? Introducing Ragu Pizza Quick Kits, a complete pizza. Rich Ragu sauce and cheese and pizzeria good crust mix. Open them up. And open your own. New Pizza Quick Kits, the first pizza kit good enough to call Ragu. Open them up. It's Pizza Quick Kits. Sausage, pepperoni, cheese. And open your own pizza. When it comes to relieving dry skin, no leading lotion beats Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. It helps heal work and weather dry skin. You can't beat how it wins out over roughness. Nothing beats the winning feeling. The Clump. Leftover cat food. Don't make your cat taste the Clump. Tear into Tender Little's brand cat food. Fresh. And watch your cat tear in. Hey, my thing. add so much to our lives, and Purina wants to add as much to theirs. That's why for more than half a century, we've searched for ways to help pets live longer, and we've succeeded with all our Purina pet foods. Look for the checkerboard and help your pet live a longer, healthier life. We're Purina, and we're helping pets live longer, healthier lives. This week. You're planning on leaving me. That's it, isn't it, huh? Once I make a decision, I promise you, Craig, I'll be honest with you about it. As Craig feels Betsy slipping away, he finds an ally with a common interest. I think we can help each other. As the world turns. You better watch out, Betsy. I think you're going to have a royal fight coming to you. Okay, Billy, what's going on? Why is Josh so mad? What do you think? I mean, he is still fighting his own family when we all ought to be united against the common enemy. You're talking about Lewis Oil and LTA merging, aren't you? Yeah. He needs to expand. I mean, it's, it's the only way we're all going to get what we want. Billy, all I want is for Ross to have a job that'll make him feel useful again. Hey, campaign's over. What are you so worried about Ross's career? I mean, it's not like he's paying you or anything. I know. But I am concerned about what's happened to him since he left. And Billy, he's changed. He's very bitter. Darn, it's no wonder. I mean, he was set up royal. Look. The hooker and the drug charges. I know, but he's channeling all his energy into revenge. That's not healthy. Uh, 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 that depends on who that revenge is aimed at. Oh, well, it's aimed at Alan Spaulding. Ross thinks that if he can... He can Get the people who Alan helped set him up that he can bring Alan to his knees. You know, I'd like to help him, darling, and uh, I think I know a way that he could. How? Oh. Well, you 
way, if, if, if Elsie Yang and Lewis Moore merge, then we'd have enough power to go after Spalding Enterprise. How does that help Ross? Well, then we'd be in a position to retain Ross as legal counsel. But he'd be the one that draws up the papers that goes out and gets Al Spalding's quality and flag. Well, you just stop it. I know exactly what you're doing, Billy. Chris, what am I doing? You are pitting me against Josh. You're doing that old tug of war family bit. No, you're wrong. I'm not pulling us apart. I'm pulling us together. Look, I figure if we have a united front, old Al Spalding's going to go down for the count. And that's what you want, isn't it? Now listen to me. You are not going back to work. But Warren, I just told you my psychiatrist said I'm well enough to care for other people now. But you're caring for me. Why isn't that enough? I can't just give up nursing. I love nursing. You know, Leslie Ann, I was hoping that there was something else in your life now that you loved even more. You know there is. Your love has made me so happy. I feel so great about myself. But therapy has given me something, too. But therapy what? What therapy? Courage. And self-confidence. Determination. Warren, just think what it would mean if I could share that with people who are afraid and suffering. Think what it would mean if I could give them the strength that you've given me. I know you could, Leslie Ann, but... You see, I have waited so long for someone to love me. For someone who would want to be with me. I just don't know if I'm ready to share you. Can you understand that? Yes. But I'm going to have to face the world again, Warren. I learned a lot in therapy. And I can't become dependent again. I don't want you to be dependent. I want you to be my wife. I want to be your wife. Then what is the problem? The problem is we have the blood test, the license, but we haven't set a date yet. What are you talking about? How did that happen? What? How about this afternoon? Is that soon enough? <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> I'd like you to please try and get me out of my job with Dr. Stevens. I'd love to go to work on one of the regular units. But, well, I'm sure all those are still filled, so... Well, as a matter of fact, I have to make a decision pretty soon on Leslie Ann, so there might be an opening for you. Uh, no, I wouldn't want to take Leslie Ann's job away from her. No, that's not the way it would happen. Well, then I guess there's nothing else for me to do. I know you'll find me something, eventually. What about Dr. Stevens? I mean, I thought that you enjoyed working in his lab so much. I enjoyed his research, for a man was a whole other story. What does that mean? It's very attractive, don't you think? I uh, haven't given it any thought of... <laughs> Take it from me, the man's a hunk. <laughs> but that's the problem, you know? He knows it. And he loves to lead women on. It's really lousy when you see him doing that, too. Well, now, wait a minute, Kevin. What, what are you saying? That you were forced to quit your job because of sexual harassment? Oh, he... He did kiss me in the lab once. Well, come but on now. If he's guilty of misconduct, no, no, no. he should be reported. Yes, no, 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 I don't no, no, care no, no, who wait. he is. No, he's guilty of misconduct, but not the way you're thinking. I'm talking morally, you know. I just think the guy's a creep. I mean, Hillary really cared for him, too. He wasn't serious about her at all, and I saw the way how much it hurt her, so, you know, I don't want to be another one of his victims. Well, this is an impossible to resist. <laughs> Listen. When a guy spends all day and all night looking into a microscope, you've got to think he's got a pair of eyes that can just penetrate into your body, you know? Do you think it's going to matter if I was asking for the two three Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, Katie. Should I come back later? Uh, <laughs> no, he's all yours. I'm leaving. All right, Katie, thank you uh, for being so honest, and I'll let you know as soon as anything turns up, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. Are you quitting your job with Dr. Stevens? Yes. Yeah. But why? I thought you really enjoyed working for him. Well, I don't really think that being a lab assistant is all that challenging. Besides, I don't want to waste my nursing skills. Well, I don't think Dr. Stevens is going to feel that way. I think he's going to be very upset. Why? What makes you say that? Um, I just think that it would be hard to replace someone like Katie. Oh, I, I thought it was because maybe you finally met the man. No, I haven't met him. Uh. Well, I think I'm going to go give him the bad news. Bye. 
So, what have you been up to? Usual. If nobody else wants that job with Dr. Stevens, I think that I'd like to work with him in the lab. Another cast Charlie. That's a can? That's the steel sack, the bag that works like a can. It's plastic. Made of a plastic formula called Linear D. Linear D. So strong and puncture resistant, the steel sack is no more than ordinary bag. Even impossible drag without split. Without split? That's some bag, Charlie. Strong. Like a can. <laughs> Hefty steel sack trash and tall kitchen bag. The bag that works like a can. When you're big enough to go out to the park, you need a diaper that'll last till dark. You'll need dryness to stay in your pampers. Introducing Pampers' new maximum absorbency toddler size. When you're big enough to go bathing with the men, it'll take all morning till you really need it. You need dryness to stay. You need Pampers. A new bigger Pampers. Pampers new maximum absorbency toddler size. Look, if your baby's an average wetter, or a heavy wetter, or even an extra heavy wetter, this new Pampers is so absorbent, it's got dryness to spare. Pampers new maximum absorbency toddler size. So absorbent, it's got dryness to spare. When you're big enough to join us, it could take a while till you make it back. You need dryness to spare. You need Pampers. three-hour world premiere. Michael York. I will drive a wedge into that family that will shatter it forever. Richard Thomas. I'll not believe he's dead until I see him rotting. Two brothers' love for the same woman leads to an epic adventure across the face of the earth. The Master of Valentine tonight. This is CBS. Hey, what happened to your cereal? Uh, a bear took it. Oh, <laughs> lucky bear. That was malto meal. Smooth and creamy wheat, toasted malt, oh, iron fortified. Good stuff, Maynard. Can I have some? Sure. But why don't you show me that bear first? Are you sure you want to see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. More Malta meal, please. Maynard, close the door. <laughs> Malta meal hot cereal. A nice part of a nutritious breakfast. The big news at Lewis Furniture is our gigantic after inventory clearance sale. Lewis Furniture must sell thousands of dollars of brand name furniture before closing time this Saturday to make room for the 1984 merchandise. Buy now and save up to 50% off on hundreds of furniture items throughout our 22,000 square foot furniture selling store. For example, you'll save $390 off the retail value of this sofa sleeper or $910 off the retail value on this Broyhill eight-piece dining room set. Shop Lewis, the furniture selling store. Today was the first full day of testimony in the Topeka murder trial. Our cameras are in the courtroom today. We'll have a report on News 13 at 6. Eight is enough. Weekdays at 3.30 on WIBW-TV. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by squeezably soft Charmin bathroom tissue and by mild ivory liquid. It helps hands stay are you serious? You want to work for Dr. Stevens? Yeah, why is that so surprising? <laughs> it's surprising because just a little while ago you were saying that you didn't want to work at all. I mean, then you wanted to stay home and be a, a wife and a mother. Or what? I mean, wh why the change your mind all of a sudden? Well, it's not all of a sudden, really, honey. I haven't felt very useful lately, and I, I know that Dr. Stevens' research is very important, and I think that, that would feel useful for me. I mean, that would satisfy me. You've been filling in for birth. Isn't that satisfying? Well, you know, that's just a temporary job. And so what about your old job? No, I don't think that I could work for you again. Since when? Since Warren Andrews has had a personal thing for the Bowers. 
Oh, well, Dr. Stevens seems to be playing the same game, doesn't he? What? Nothing, nothing. Just that he has... just a reputation for being a ladies' man, eh? Hmm. Well, since I've never met the man, I guess I can't confirm that. So, uh, have you changed your mind about wanting a baby? No. No, in fact, I think my working would help me to get pregnant. You want to explain that? Well, I was working last time I got pregnant, and you know that Dr. Sedwick said that I had to do something to get my mind off, you know, conceiving a baby, and I think the job would be just the thing, please. Ed, I think working for Dr. Stevens is just the thing that I need. Well, except for the fact that you don't know anything about scientific research. I mean, you wouldn't know the first thing about working in a lab. But Katie said that it wasn't very challenging. I mean, it wouldn't be difficult to file a few slides. Okay, and look, look, look. Now, the lab is too dangerous, and so is Dr. Stevens, and I am not going to allow my wife to work for a man like that. Stevens? You're late. I know. It's the last time you can reprimand me. We need to straighten out those notes from yesterday's We need to straighten out an awful lot more than just... bring me that Petri dish. Would you go get your own Petri dish? And don't look at me. What the hell's gotten into you? Some common sense. I'm finally seeing you for what you really are, Dr. Stevens. And you know what I think? I think you've been working with rats for so long that you're starting to turn into one yourself. All I asked you to do was get her a Petri dish. Tell that to Hillary. She really cared about you. But all she is to you is just another one of your little experiments. Huh. Well, not me. You may think that you're a Dr. Don Juan, but as, as far as I'm concerned, I do not plan on donating this body to science. Therefore, I'm, I'm resigning as your lab assistant. Well, you've obviously made the right decision because you're too emotional for this kind of work. Would you like to try another experiment? And what's that? Stuff that in your throat. Watch yourself turn blue. Katie, I'm sorry to lose you, but I'm glad to see Hillary has such a good sense. Good. I just had a fight with Ed. What happened? I don't know. I was talking to him in his office. All of a sudden, he got furious and started yelling at me. Well, that doesn't sound like Ed. No, it doesn't. Is, is there something that happened at the hospital that I don't know about? Oh, nothing that I could think of. Well, what were you talking about when I got so angry? John Stevens. I, I told him that I wanted to take over Katie's job as uh, his assistant. You, you want to be Dr. Stevens' assistant? Yeah. Well, no wonder he got serious. John Stevens is bad news. Take my word for it. Stay away from that guy. Listen, Shirley, you shouldn't be so quick to judge the man. I mean, look at, maybe there are things that you just don't know about him and he's not ready to, to talk about yet, you know? Have you met Dr. Stevens? No, I haven't met him. Uh-uh. I don't think I'm wrong about this. I said, you know, just take my word for it. They're probably, he's probably a very nice man. Probably. Hi, Ed. Hi. Dr. Bauer, can I get something for you? Oh, yes. Matter of fact, I sent a patient down to radiology for CAT scan. I was just wondering if the results were coming yet. What's the patient's name? Uh. Yes. Uh, the name has slipped my mind. Skip it. Just forget it. Good morning, bud. Want to go steady? You do not belong in my chair, Reba. You belong in oh. my arm. Ivory Liquid presents dishwashing talk. Well, what'd you think of your birthday dinner? Yeah, I can't believe you cooked it. There's the proof. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, that's what that was. Yes, yeah, I'll help you wash. Oh, well, hi there. Hello there, you see? <laughs> I cold in your hands. No, oh, they're soft. That's where Ivy Liquid helped. Well, you'd never know they were 34 today. Well, I guess the Ivy Liquid has treated my hands pretty well all these years. I know. You know, they say it's the mildest of all living brands. And that's important if you care about young-looking hands. Well, to prove I do, I've got one more surprise for you. You're going to cooking school? Happy birthday, honey. Oh, it's perfect. Just like my spaghetti. <laughs> Mild ivory liquid helps your hands look as young as you feel. Bye-bye, good old pie. 
Tell him you seem awfully sincere when he talks about you, too. I don't know. He's a hard guy to figure, but... Uh, you know what I think? I think Dr. John Stevens really cares about you. Dr. Bauer, please. He's in consultation with Dr. Sacker and Radio. Look, fine. Look, just have him call Dr. Stevens as soon as he gets in. I'm without a lab assistant. I need someone to... I need someone to replace Kate Parker immediately. Thank you. Losing your touch, Doctor? What do you want? I can remember when the lady has remained true to the bitter end. I certainly hope that will be the case with Maureen. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had no contact with my... That is a lie, Dr. Stevens. I know for a fact that you met with each other. I just hope, for your sake, that she lies as well as you do. She can keep it secret if that's what you mean. Does she know what's at stake if she can't? I promise you, if Maureen Bauer lets it be known that you are Dr. Jim Reardon and not Dr. John Stevens, I will personally see to it that no Bauer ever works in this hospital again. Don't threaten me, Andrew. This is not an idle threat. I have very powerful friends, Dr. Stevens. Don't force me to introduce them. arthritis pain sufferers, why they depend on Bengay. Here's what they said. The Bengay brings a lot of relief, and it lasts for hours. Because it brings relief. And that's the most important thing. Relief. This is my pal. I go to sleep with him every night, kid. It takes away the pain. The warmth takes away the pain. Until there is a cure found for arthritis, I will keep right on using the Bengay. For arthritis pain, feel better with Bengay. Hey, Mom, what if you lose texture? Look, you can use your name on the table. Uh-huh, that's what I dust with Pledge. It gives my wood a beautiful, deep shine every time I dust. Look at this. My old polish looks blurry, but Pledge is so clean, so clear, my wood shines deep. See, really beautiful. Mom, I know why you always use Pledge. Why? Because it has deep shine. Look at her. Dust with deep shine Pledge every time. Hi, Katie. What are you doing here? What do you think? Another ballroom brawl, right? No, uh, no, I, I just can't. Oh. It's it. Oh, who are you here to see? No one, I just, I just came to visit, you know? Oh, I, I thought that you said you... Hey, Tony, how you doing? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful wake up, Bob. I haven't seen him recently. Hmm. Say, how's Leslie Ann? As a matter of fact, Leslie Ann couldn't be happier. Really? I wonder where that is. Maybe it's because we're getting married this afternoon. You're kidding. I'm sure you wish I were, Miss Bauer. No, it's... It's just I... I didn't know. What would you have done if you'd known? Try to talk her out of it? Look, let's call it truth, okay? I'm sorry I didn't know you two were getting married because I would have liked to have, uh, thrown a shower for her, maybe gotten all the nurses together and chipped in and got her a gift. Mm-hmm. The only gift that Leslie Ann wants is to be left alone. Is that your idea or hers? Since she didn't tell you about our wedding, I assume you can answer that question on your own. You really don't want me around her, do you? Look, uh, don't take it so personally, Miss Bauer. When Leslie Ann becomes Mrs. Warren Andrews, I intend to keep her away from everyone connected with this hospital. Does that mean she's not going to be coming back here to work? Let's just say she has a more fulfilling vocation. Well, I always thought she was very happy taking care of the patients. 
Apparently, she's happier taking care of me. Smile. If you can't be happy for one friend, at least you can be happy for the other. What? I heard that Katie Parker quit her job as Dr. Stevens' lab assistant. I, um, I have a feeling that she could, uh, take over for Leslie Ann. Yeah, maybe. Well, I will certainly recommend it. I never liked the idea of Katie working for Stevens anyway. Why? The man is conducting vitally important research, and the less interference he encounters from the Bar clan, not to mention women in general, the better. Clear? Tony out. That's funny. I wonder where he went. Jim? Jim? Hi. Is there another outbreak? No, no. Nothing new, thank God. But here's the race against time, Mo. Who knows how much further or faster this disease will travel before I find a vaccine? Oh, I really wish that there was something I could do to help. What would you think of my working here in the lab with you? Mo, well, you don't have that kind of training. No, I do. I, I know a lot about medical procedure. I've worked with Ed for years. Yeah, I'm a doctor's wife. Please, please, Jimmy. It would mean a lot to me to be able to help you. If you really want to help me, you'll make sure no one ever learns that I'm going to leave you. I know I already promised yeah, that. Yeah, well, I need to be sure you understand how important this is. Thousands of lives could depend on whether or not you keep your word. Well, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> what are you talking about? When you were a little kid, you always had some of your own little secrets. You live in your own little world and nobody could touch you. Not even me. I was a closest to you. You know, that hurt me a lot. Yeah, well, you like that boarding house full of brothers and sisters. I'm sorry, I just couldn't handle it. I needed that privacy that I created for myself. I know. Trust is really important to change the people. I'm trusting you right now. I know, but... But what? Ed and I have always trusted each other, and I've never lied to him before, so... No. You swore to me. I know, I know. I, know. I just, I wish that there was something else I could do to help. What? Like work with me here in the lab? Yes. Yes, I want to do that. I want to, I want to be important to you, you because I love you. You are important to me. You are so important to me. Nobody knows me better in this whole wide world. Like you, especially now. And remember, mm. we have a secret together. How do you know so much about Alan Spaulding? I keep my ears open. Come on, Springfield isn't the biggest place in the world. And it didn't take long to find out that Alan Spaulding is a powerful man who doesn't like the idea of competition growing in his own backyard. Oh, well, that's true. And from what I understand, he's set and determined to ruin LTA and grab the Lewises right out of town. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, I know he has something against Billy and something now, against Trish, I but I don't know, know about... I don't know about Trish, but I can understand why he's threatened by Billy. Why? Well, don't the Chamberlain's own control an interest in small menopause? How do you know that? Oh, I bought Vanessa's apartment, and so I made a few discreet inquiries. Look, my point is, is that if Billy had gotten his hands on Vanessa's shares, then high and mighty Alan Spaulding would be as helpless as a babe in the woods. Well, you sure do know a lot about Alan Spaulding's finances. I just know what I hear. Well, let me tell you something about Mr. Spaulding, darling. He wouldn't give a damn about LCA if it weren't for H.B. hovering around in the background. So why don't you try to get Billy and Vanessa back together? I would love to get Billy and Vanessa back together. They're obviously still in love. It's a shame that they're both so stubborn all the time, but uh, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? If Billy and Vanessa got back together, you wouldn't need H.B.'s money. So you wouldn't have to merge with Lewis Oil. You know, working with 
with Tupperware is very rewarding. It's a chance to grow. It's a special career in the company of friends. It's a healthy I didn't enjoy it. I don't see how anybody did. I didn't mean for it to sound like that. No, so I didn't mean to jump at your... Uh, I was a little shaken by what I just heard. Well, rape is a very difficult subject, but it has to be discussed. I didn't know there were so many victims. Unfortunately, there are. And all too often, the crime goes unreported. I know. They said that people are afraid or ashamed to go tell the police about it. Yes. And it's sad when help is available, but the victims won't come forward. And the fact that rape isn't just a cute crime. It's a 
statistics on rape within a family. I, I just can't believe it. They gave me some things to read, and I'm going to study it a little. And look, they, they gave us a poster that we should put up um, on the bulletin board on our floor. Good. You know, I think those of us who work in health care should learn as much as we can about the subject. That way we'll be able to help patients who've experienced the trauma of a rape. Mrs. Simon, have you seen Colonel Rudin? L yes, he's been sitting over in the waiting area. Tony. So, what's the verdict? Well, I just got the results of the test on. Yeah, well, in the movie, this is the part where you tell me sit down, right? But I beat you to it. <laughs> you look like there's something I didn't expect. Go into my, my office and talk about this in private. If you want to know a difference between Wesson oil and reformulated Crisco, look right here. See, reformulated Crisco adds polysorbate 80, an additive that makes fried food absorb more oil. And Wesson? Wesson doesn't. Wesson just gives you crispy, juicy chicken without polysorbate 80. Come and get it. Just a crispy, like you like it. Because Wesson keeps you juicy inside. Juicy and real crispy with Wesson. To make damaged hair beautiful could mean a salon hot oil treatment. Now treat yourself with real five hot oil. It helps replace natural oil styling, coloring, perming, remove for beautifully conditioned hair. VO5 hot oil. Treat yourself. Also from Alberto Cole. Without static dye. Static What a Now stay away static with static dye. Watch that wrinkly, clean static. Disappear in seconds. Static dye keeps you looking your best. Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, and Barney. Jewelry by Stephen Dweck.